How's it going guys? Today is March 15th, 2.22 p.m. here on the East Coast. I wanted to do today's vlog on standing for something. I recently watched a movie, Hacksaw Ridge, um, where I learned a couple different um, terms, new terms. Um, and I kind of uh, identified with them in a sense. So the movie talks about a conscientious objector. Now, what that is, is this um, person who joined the military um, in the movie, uh, he was, he refused to kill enemy soldier or refused to carry a weapon into combat because of his personal beliefs. So that qualified him as a conscientious objector in the military because that basically meant that he didn't want to hurt anybody. He wanted to be a combat medic in the military and and he was um you know he was dead set on doing that he encountered a lot of uh, uh troubles in order to get to that um job and and you know to in order to um in order to become that he had to uh, endure a lot of uh, hardships because you can imagine as uh being a person who doesn't want to carry a rifle, he got a lot of uh, a lot of slack from his uh, his uh, co-workers there in the military. So um, he endured a lot of things, and he be, ended up, you know, being the only conscientious objector after the movie was all said and done to to be recognized and receive the Medal of Honor for saving seventy five people in Okinawa. And if it wasn't for his beliefs in doing what he, you know, what he thought was right, even in the face of, um, you know, defeat, it seems like at times, um, then he wouldn't have been able to, you know, stand for what he believed in. So I found it very moving that he was able to make a decision, stick by it, regardless of what he encountered throughout the movie. I definitely recommend you guys watch it. But in 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 light of what he had to experience in order to continue to stand on his two feet for what he believed in, in order to make him true to himself and his higher powers, um, was really uh, moving for me. I definitely saw it as a as a huge. Uh, a huge commitment to himself and and to the people around him and to his higher being, which I find um, you know tremendous for a person to take on that type of uh, uh, responsibility. And not only that, but just to stand um, and and not waver at the fact that people are trying to dissuade you to to maybe subside to what they want you to do or what they want you to become or what they want you to be. Um, he didn't let that waver in front of him. He had a decision to be a medic, and he went through with that decision and ended up doing right by a lot of different people um, in the face of danger. So I have a, you know, a tremendous amount of respect for a person of that caliber that makes that type of decision. And eventually we all have to make that type of decision regardless of what um, we want to stand for. We end up wanting to stand for something or you end up falling for anything. I know there's a that age-old saying um, that just says that, you know, if you don't stand for anything, that you'll fall for anything. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. So you definitely have to decide what it is your values are going to be and decide what it is you're going to stand for and make sure that you don't let anybody dissuade you from that. Once you, once you have your mind set on it, um, whether people are good, bad, or indifferent and agree with you or don't, you have to stay true to yourself. And this was what got him through the tough times was that, excuse me, he felt like what he was doing was truly the right thing to do. And even though people didn't necessarily agree with it, especially in that type of atmosphere where he was at, where war was going on all around him and, you know, um, shooting people or uh, war is essentially about fighting sometimes and, and there is a lot of violence attached with it but for him to not want to be a part of the violence but to do his part really said a lot about him and as the you know the movie progresses they say you know that how they just viewed him as this 
you know, skinny boy who, you know, just was, uh, didn't want to shoot a rifle and he ended up saving, you know, a lot of different people, um, in the face of battle. So it, it, you also can't be too, uh, premature to judge people just because they don't, um, they aren't in line with what you think is right. And just so goes to show you that just because what you think is right doesn't necessarily mean that it's right for everybody. And for standing for something that you believe in kind of makes it um, easier for you to follow your guidelines and your respects and your values in order for you to appreciate yourself. And then if people can appreciate you, maybe eventually they will. But you can't waver in the fact of uh, trying to please everybody. You have to you know, do what you think is right in your heart. So that'll be it for today's first vlog. Since I didn't put one up yesterday, I'll be putting up two today. Um, the second vlog, I, I do have a title. I, I did forget it, and, but I'll be publishing it here shortly uh, as a follow-on to this one. But I appreciate you guys uh, continuing to watch. I do continue to gain subscribers. I believe I'm at 43, and I appreciate each one of you watching my vlogs. Um, I was just able to get a like on a tweet from John Jay and Rich, these people who I listen to almost every day on the radio uh, show uh, through iHeartRadio, and they also are from Arizona. That's where their radio home base is out of. And for them to like my tweet um, really did, or for him to like my tweet really did mean a lot to me. It's the second one he's liked. So again, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you on the next one.